Okay, so welcome back again to another day and in today's video we look at how we can overlay the text and zoom in on it and also create this uh, bloom effect as you can see on this clip. So let's begin and uh, let's go straight to Olive Zero Point One and in Olive Zero Point One here I have imported some uh, video clip and also some audio clip onto the project window. So let's begin adding a video clip onto the um, timeline. So let's go down here, place it here and maybe we can trim this a little bit down and trim this a little bit up here and place it right in the beginning there. And let's place a text on top of this clip. So let's go to the uh, add tool here, title and drag it on top of the clip and let's change the uh, text. So come to the text editor and uh, you can type anything you want to and then selecting it you can always choose a thicker font or maybe you just come here and select black and then change the um, font size okay so we have our text now let's overlay this text onto the video clip so simply go to the um, add effect here go to king a uh, luma key and in the luma key let's collapse this one first so in the luma key in the invert just check this checkbox here and we are inverting everything to overlay the text onto the video clip okay so now the next part is to zoom in on this um, text here so let's place our marker let's say somewhere here then go back to the transform now in the transform we need to keyframe the position and also keyframe the scale and now the idea is to have the part that is the video is overlaid is shown on uh, right in the center here so to get this um, nice safe area here you can come to view and then title accent safe and select any of these okay so um let's go back again so now let's move our marker somewhere here just somewhere there and we want to zoom in on the text so uh, we can always uh, add a keyframe but instead of doing that you can also just um, click on the value and the uh, keyframe will uh, edit itself so let's go to the um, scale now so uh, let's scale this all the way somewhere there and now we want this part to be in its uh, center here so in the position x value you can drag it somewhere there so you can see the plus sign here and then let's zoom or scale in more on that and then use the position so the idea is to not to have the black part in the middle so let's do that again scale it out and then position there's still more there so let's scale in and position i think it's enough so here's our first um, scale in onto or zoom in onto the text okay so the next part is to create the bloom effect so let's come here somewhere there and trim this out trim this out and add another video clip onto the timeline since this clip comes with an audio let's um, hold on control selecting it control and L to unlink it or you can just simply right click and link or unlink okay let's delete the audio and now let's trim this little bit back in move it back again and uh, this one just way here so we want to create these transitions or bloom transitions where this clip from here when it transits to this other clip, it uh, creates this nice white bloom uh, transition that's moving on to another clip. So let's begin that first, selecting the first clip here, go to the add effect and the community effect. I put a link to this community effect uh, down in the um, comment section so you can check it out if you haven't got it yet. So here in the community, let's go to bloom. And since we add that, you can see we have added some bloom to the um, clip so let's uh, collapse this transform here and go to the bloom in the threshold let's increase this to uh, the maximum which is 99 so you can see as we decrease down the bloom and we increase up to the maximum which uh, does not apply the bloom so let's go straight to the um, center of the two clip which they met and we want to move back 10 frames so here let's move back 10 frame or you can simply type it here click and you can type it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay, let's go eleven and now i want to keyframe everything for the bloom properties of the bloom and then get the marker to the center 
and then move back one frame okay the next thing to do is to uh, decrease this putting it all the way to zero intensity to the maximum which is 20 and blur to the maximum which is 64 so here's our effect for the first part now let's go to the second clip selecting the second clip go to the add effect again community bloom and let's move in one frame so move in one frame sorry so let's move in one frame so click here and move in one frame and in the bloom let's collapse this in the bloom let's um, go the opposite so here we have it zero here we have at a high uh, the maximum and the maximum okay so keep frame again and now let's move in 10 frames so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and 11 okay so you can always move the marker or using this to move the marker using the keyframe and now let's change this all this back again to um, the default which is um, this one 99 this goes to zero and this goes to zero okay so we have a nice uh, bloom effect as it transits onto another uh, clip now let's add some background music so come here i downloaded this music from um, tune tank a nice place to have uh, get some um, music from there you can go the link in the description below so what I want is to have this part of the beat to be where the text zoom in so we play this so that part where the beat we want to place it where the text zoom in so let's um, trim this one all the way in and now let's see where we have our text is zooming in so to do that let's select the title go to the marker so you can see the marker is right there so we want to place this uh, bit right there where the marker is so with your eyes you can check that out okay there we go and let's uh, get this back again so here it is okay so, and the next part is to put a little bit of sound effect in here so here i have also got a sound effect from tune tank you can check it out so to place it nicely you can always zoom in control mirror mouse button zoom in so you can play it right in the center okay there we go and we don't need this part so let's uh trim this off c to cut and uh, b to pointer tool and uh, delete that okay so let's play it in c Okay, so that's um, a little uh, fun to play around with uh, creating some light nice transitions and also zooming in on the overlay text. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you back again in another day.